Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. I'm going to be doing um, a secrets reading, um, something, anything I can expose for you, whatever's being hidden from you, kept from you. That's going to be the theme of the reading today. So, hmm, let's see what we can expose for you today, Aries. Also, thank you Keen for sponsoring this video. Um, Keen can help connect you with all different tarot readers. They have a lot of different tarot readers on there. Um, and you can connect with them on the phone, through text. If you're interested in that as a new customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, which is actually a pretty good deal. Um, the price does depend on which reader you choose, um, but there is a satisfaction guarantee, so that's also good. If you're interested in that, the link will be in the description, also in the comments. Uh, yeah, thank you again, Keen. Alright. Aries. Yeah. Alright, what are we exposing today for Aries? What's being hidden from Aries? What secrets are trying to be hidden from Aries? What's the best possible thing we can expose for them today? Oh my goodness, three of swords, okay, okay, all right, there could be something important about the number three, um, I am getting something about someone um, being heartbroken about you, or someone has been thinking about you um, from the past pretty heavily, they could be overthinking, or... Uh, maybe not, this could be someone from the past, or this is just someone, this could be, even be someone who's in the current environment. Someone's hiding the fact that they are feeling like the Three of Swords, that they're feeling, I want to say depressed, um, but someone's feeling sad, heartbroken, I'm getting heartache, okay, show me more for Aries, there, but there could be something really important about the number three, we have a Father of Swords. Lots of sword energy. This could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But it does not have to be. This someone. This is someone who's very much in their head. They could be holding more of a masculine energy, whether they're male or female. Um, this is someone who could who could be in like the state of like not necessarily being very comfortable with the emotions that they're feeling. They could be kind trying to reject these emotions. This is someone who's keeping this from you. They're keeping this in their head, the fact that they feel, um, I want to say stressed out, but this, um, this heartache or pain someone's feeling, okay? And for whatever reason, they're keeping it hidden from you. Father of Wands. Lots of masculine energy. Okay, there could be someone who wants to say something to you, wants, wants to come forward to you. Okay, there's also a little bit of, like, I don't know, there's a little bit of, like, I want to say anger. I also want to say aggression, but I don't necessarily mean, like, physical. Like, someone's, like, upset and hurt and sad, overthinking about you. This person could be kind of sending you energy without being aware that they're sending you energy. And they could be kind of, like... They're heartbroken, so they're mad. That's what I'm getting. Someone's heartbroken and angry. They could be wanting to say something, but again, they're keeping it to themselves. Um, so there's someone who's going through a, a tough time, and they're not, they're not showing it to you. Like they're not, they're not expressing this to you, or you don't see this. Yeah, Eight of Swords. <laughs> They're really in their head. Okay, someone's feeling frozen or stuck or... Someone's thinking about you a lot. Okay, they could be sending you energy. You might want to, you know, shield your energy or just be aware that someone might be, um... 
someone's like upset that they're heartbroken over you or that you they're ups or they're upset by the pain that they feel you've caused okay so um what can I ask specific about this here what is this pain that this person is feeling like from like what is causing it or what's the root like where is where where's this pain coming from somebody could be wanting I'm getting okay someone like wants you to feel the pain that they're feeling or that they felt all right show me more about this um three of swords Yeah, death. Okay. So an ending. So you either ended something with this person or they feel you've caused a certain ending or they've... Okay, somebody feels like you... You ruined something for them or you... They feel as though you've, you've like, ruined things between the two of you or something like that. Okay, show me more. Someone's dealing a lot with shadow right now. Okay, there's also definitely, um, like, the message about transformation here, too, that, like, the purpose of this is this person is becoming aware of this shadow aspect that they have, or someone's being taught something. I'm hearing taught a lesson. Um, there could be something with karma here, for sure. We got Scorpio energy, eight. We have the number eight. Okay, so eight and three could be an important number. There could be something about August 3rd or um, March 8th or 38th, 83. Okay. Um, all right, there could be something about um, the year 1993. 1983, sorry, I didn't mean to say 93. There could be something about 1993. Um, there, someone could have been born 1993 or 1983, but I said 1993 for a reason. Okay, show me more. Show me more, um, I want to be specific. Um, show me more about what specifically is being kept from Aries here. What's, what's, what about this, um, should Aries be the most aware of? Okay, yeah, five of pentacles. Someone's like throwing this loss energy at you. Like, in a, like someone's feeling this and they're trying to like push it off onto you or they want you to feel what they feel or someone's just like sending you this energy. Sorry about that. I don't know if I should shut the window. Friggin' chainsaw. Okay. I'm getting something with this chainsaw like there's something about someone's like anger about what has happened between the two of you or what they feel you've caused pain that they feel you've caused so there's something about being aware of the fact that this person is like sending you energy through overthinking about you and like like just feeling anger and pain associated with you I keep hearing bitter too um Someone could be trying to shove this energy off onto you. I'm getting that too. Like someone's trying to like, someone doesn't want to feel this, doesn't want to deal with this. They want to push it off onto you. Okay, show me more about what is, um, what about this should Aries be the most aware of when it comes to what's being hidden from them. Okay, seriously, yes. Five of Cups, yes. This person is very sad. That's, that's all that's coming out here. This person is very sad. This person is very much in a loss energy. Okay, someone, this could be something about someone's getting their karma. Okay, this doesn't have to be a past lover, um, but it very well could be. Okay, alright, anything else for Aries? <laughs> anything else for Aries? You probably feel this person, or this person might be coming up like. You might just randomly be thinking of this person, or this person's coming up a lot, or something about this person is being like shown to you often. 
they're going through it. They're going through it, okay? Don't try not to associate or try not to connect or tap into this energy is what I want to say. Wheel of Fortune. Um, the situation is moving and it is like expect, um, like I'm hearing respect a result from the situation, but like expect the situation to start changing or things are like transforming, moving. There could be something about being patient about letting this energy pass through or if someone is throwing energy at you because they're bitter or they blame you for something or whatever it may be, just, just try not to associate with it as much as possible. You know, do cleansing, transmuting, whatever you do, whatever you resonate with, whatever feels right to you. Um, but like stay positive because like it's not like you're not going to be what I want to say is you're not going to be tapping into this forever. You're not going to be, like, this isn't going to be thrown at you forever. Okay? You might want to protect your energy a little bit more. Especially, depending on how much you're feeling this person and how, how like, heavy they're thinking of you. Because you're definitely on this person's mind. They're heavy in a masculine energy. Masculine air energy. So they're very much in their head. We have Scorpio energy. Okay. I want to say Sagittarius too. Um, we also have fire too, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but um, some of you, if you are like a masculine energy, if you're like more in a masculine energy, there might be another masculine energy that's like, I'm hearing trying to size you up, but it's because they blame you for some pain that they feel in their current environment. All right, that's a specific message for someone. Okay, thank you um, so much for joining me. So much love to you guys. Hopefully, if this resonated, it provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation or what you may be feeling right now. Um, yeah, again, thank you, Keen, for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in trying Keen, all the info will be in the description or in the comments. Um, but yeah, thank you again, and thank you for joining me. So much love. Bye!